Okay, so we'll start with take the A train with seventh chords in the left hand. C6, D7, flat five, D minor seven, do an inversion here for G7, C6. Second time around, we'll do a two, five, one to F major. So G minor, C7, F major seven, D7, D minor, G7. G7 flat nine can be played by replacing the G with an A flat. Winds up being a rootless voicing, meaning a chord without the root or the first note, the bottom note. But that works nicely. And then the last A is the same. So here's a chorus with seventh chords. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next way we can approach the song is by using uh, rootless voicings in the left hand. Uh, rootless voicings are great because they allow us to extend to up, upper notes of the chords, upper extensions, uh, like nines, elevens, and thirteens. In this case, we'll be extending up to the nines, uh, and then we're going to let the bass player play the roots. So I'm going to play with a track here, and I'm going to use some left hand rootless voicings. Here we go. Uh, left hand rootless voicings and uh, next we can talk about some two hand rootless voicings two hand rootless voicings uh, this is very useful when uh, a piano player is playing say with a bass player and another melodic instrument then uh, if the melodic instrument is playing the melody of the song or soloing and there's a bass player playing the bass notes then as a piano player, all you need to play is chords, and it's nice to spread the chords open over two hands. So here are some two-hand rootless voicings. two-hand voicings, two-hand rootless voicings. 
Another thing we can do is, let's say there's not a bass player and you're playing the piano with another melodic instrument, whether it be a singer or a horn. So you can play the rootless voicings in the right hand and play bass notes in the left hand. And when you're doing this, this particular song, Take the A Train, is a swing tune. So uh, as far as swing bass lines, there are two different kinds we can talk about. We can talk about walking bass lines. Walking bass lines is when it's all quarter notes. Uh, playing in two bass lines when you're playing in two you're playing half notes on the bass one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so I'm gonna do a whole chorus of uh, bass lines here and I'm gonna just mix them up between uh, walking and playing in two one two one two three four some bass lines and uh, if you want to check out what I did there uh, remember that you can always uh, slow down the speed of this video by going into settings and uh, playback speed to slow down and uh, so finally we'll talk about uh, some how we can improvise over this tune playing solos over this tune and uh, you know we can definitely play solos using only notes of the chords which can sound really good here's an example of that I'm gonna do a whole chorus of a solo using only chord tones. You get the idea. That's using uh, chord tones. I, I, I snuck in a few other notes there. But, uh, and now we'll talk about the scales that are appropriate uh, for these chords. So C6, we're gonna use the C major scale. The song is in the key of C. D7 flat five, this chord indicates the whole tone scale. So whole tone scale is a scale that just has all whole steps. seven flat five D minor seven G seven C six that's a two five one in C so D minor seven uses D Dorian the second mode of C major G seven G mixolydian the fifth mode of C major C six uses C major or C Ionian the first mode of C major and then uh, when we get to the second ending, we're gonna do a two, five, one to F. So G minor, C seven, F. G minor is G Dorian, the second mode of F major. C mixolydian, the fifth mode of F major. And then F Ionian, or the F major scale. D seven, this is a dominant chord. It uses the mixolydian mode. So D mixolydian, which is the fifth mode of G major. think of dominant chords as uh, I, li I like to think of the mixolydian mode as just a dominant scale I call it it's a major scale with a flat seven uh, okay then D Dorian or D minor seven G7 G mixolydian or G dominant scale and then we have G7 flat nine on G7 flat nine 
we can, there are two different scales that we can use, uh, maybe others as well, but uh, I like to use the half whole diminished scale. That one works nicely on dominant chords with a flat nine. And then you can also use a, a scale or mode called Phrygian dominant, G Phrygian dominant. Phrygian dominant is actually a mode of harmonic minor. G Phrygian dominant is the fifth mode of C harmonic minor. And that works nicely over uh, G7 flat 9. The last A is the same, so same scales. And uh, so there's uh, some information uh, for Take the A Train. Hope you enjoyed the video.